welcome back to my little arty chit chat channel. I've decided I want to kind of vlog slash document the process of making one of my political pillows. Um, I've kind of basically done half of it already without actually filming and documenting it. But I thought it's never too late to kind of show the process, especially as I want to sell this. So it's a nice kind of fun place to be like behind the scenes. This is actually how they're made or the label behind them. So I kind of came up with this concept to create a political pro political pillows because it kind of inspired why the whole Black Lives Movement matter and the kind of realising of white privilege and the whole fact that things get unnoticed or they're not discussed enough, which is why things kind of don't change. Um, and I kind of, in reflecting, kind of reading, re reading resources and learning, I kind of recognised the home is an environment where racism goes unnoticed, sexism, homophobia, so I wanted to create pillows which trigger conversation in those everyday environments, conversations you may not really be comfortable having, just to challenge your views, to kind of question what you believe in. So I made, let me get them. So I've actually made two pillows so far. This is my feminist one, which says, if you're not a feminist, educate yourself. Um, and the really nice thing in making them is that I use materials all given to me by charity shops. So I reached out, before the pandemic to cherish it's been like, look, this is my project, I'm doing about empowerment, solidarity and um, social injustice for people who are pushed the mar margins. Um, so this is my first one. <laughs> um, loved it. It's just kind of a very big though as well. It's a very nice sleepy cushion, but this is very like random idea, first idea, kind of put it together and see how it goes. And I loved it. Um, it's kind of done with a little sip here to try and stuff it. Um, but kind of a lot of mistakes came with it, so I didn't really plan what I was doing, kind of did it when I came along. So making this one, I'm very much more like taking all the precautions and doing it proper and being patient. This is my other one, the Sit in Solidarity with Black Lives. It's got tassels on it. Tassels! <laughs> um, so this one was kind of a bit different to my feminist ones. So this was kind of inspired by Barbara Kruger a bit and like the text of Jenny Hosler, Hol Holzer, Holzer, how you say it? So from these two, what I'm taking on into my next pillow is I'm doing another, if you're not a feminist, educate yourself pillow because I've, I've had a lot of interest of people wanting to buy one um, through um, different art accounts, the Women's Network who I'm part of a committee now, to the people are interested in buying them. So I want to kind of do a first take, so I'm doing it for much more professional. Um, I think I may add tassels. I just really like making tassels, to be honest. Excited to do more of a professional approach, being very cautious that, being very aware that I may actually sell this. So I struggle a lot with my confidence, my work of, I don't think I can sell this. I don't think it's good enough quality. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of document the way of doing it. My room was a mess, so I've been doing it all day. <laughs> it's Saturday now. It's Saturday the 4th, 4th of July. 4th of July. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long this takes me to make, really. <laughs> so here are the two kind of faces. There'll be the outer skin, and these are the two linings which will be in the middle. So we've got, so much stuff stuck to it. We've got velvet here. This is a curtain, um, bed sheets, and then just more velvet. And then here we have the same, the curtains, velvet, bed sheets. Um, these are kind of sewn on top. So we should, if I turn it over, you kind of see the different compartments of the sheets. Because obviously I want to sell these. I'm not sure if when I sell them I'd have the pillow, like the stuffing with it. So maybe you have to buy the stuffing yourself. Or if I buy the stuffing for it, it would be more expensive um, for people to buy them. So I wanted to at least make it more professional by having lining inside. So when like people buy it, they don't see all kind of the messy threads. Um, so it looks just a bit more professional. And I'm excited. It's nice like... I'm taking my time and kind of taking my patience, taking every extra steps and not kind of doing shortcuts, um, which I've learned you can't really do in tech sales, you can't do shortcuts at all. Um, so yeah, it's not a nice process. I'm just trying to now work out what colour text I want to do. I'm kind of leaning towards the blue, but I'm not really sure if it goes. Like I think it would be, it'd be nice, but I don't know what colour thread I'd do around it to make it stand out. Um, and I have such like a collection of threads but not loads of the same ones so I need to order that in to get it done. But no, it's exciting. I'm really intrigued to see, I'm not sure how much I'd sell them for though. Um, I don't want to really do it cheap <laughs> because it's kind of a lot of work and effort. 
but at the same time, I don't, like, the material's all supplied, like, given to me um, by charities and women. And I need to get more material anyway to make other stuff. I'm, I'm always run out. Well, not run out, but I've run out of, like, a variation of nice patterns. I'm not sure how much I sell them for. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, between 60 and 120 which may sound extortionate to begin with, but it is low-key, like, a piece of art, and it's all handmade by me, and I've already done, like, five hours worth of it today, and that's only doing the lining. Like, the hand embroidery stitch is what takes another, like, five hours to do. <laughs> and they say you should do it, you should market it. A piece of art, you should market it. It's, like, how many hours you do and how much pace. If I, so, I think it's, like, if men get paid £20 an hour for doing art, like, £10 an hour, and if I've done, like, if it takes five, ten hours to, it would take around ten hours to make probably, that itself is then literally a hundred quid. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. It's my first one, so I'll see kind of what level I feel when it's finished, if I'm really confident it's a professional standard. Um, we'll go from there, really, to see if anyone kind of wants it. <laughs> what did you say? So I started sewing at 12.30, it's now six o'clock, and I've watched three Marvel films and I'm living for it. I think it's going to be my new pastime is sewing and Marvel films. I was going to do a marathon but I kind of realised that I started it very wrong. I've done Guard Guardians of the Galaxy 1 because I really fancied the humour, the music, Groot. Um, done the second one and now I'm on to Ragnarok which is epic. I should have really done it in order but hey ho. Welcome to day two of my pillow project. Um, today my plan is, so it's Monday the 6th of July, today my plan is to decide what text I actually want on my pillow and kind of order the supplies, so kind of the colours of the text and my supplies that I may need like thread, the same amount of thread for each. Um, so I need to decide on my text and I'm really not sure what to do. I was I had help from um, a message from Shim Network, the company that's kind of worked with um, the social distancing project which is like a platform for graduate students who have done their degree shows and any students between 2018 and now to exhibit their work on an online platform it has loads of followers now I can't really tell you how many I can't I'll do their at below um, and basically I, I submitted my work to be displayed on their online platform on Artsy there was basically a miscommunication and my work got put up with the master's squad master's thesis exhibition I was like Um, but through that, kind of, they then started talking to me and kind of saying they're very much interested. They loved my work and my pillow, political pillows. Um, and they're kind, they're asking how would I sell them. And I was a bit like, as, as I was saying before, I'm not really sure how I'd sell them. I'm not sure what kind of, I don't know how much I would, what price I'd go for if I'd sell it with a pillow about the pillow. And basically, they replied with such help and information. They basically said. Um, to decide a price for each original pillow covering, as that's like an art itself, um, and not to include the pillow itself, because that would make it so much more expensive, just to send the actual cover of it. Um, and they're saying very much, do a collect first, complete a collection, and release them all at once, not like a bundle, but have like six different options that people could actually buy from. Um, and then afterwards, so it'd all be unique, but then afterwards I could sell the photos of the pillows as uniques, so it'd be... I sell, sorry, I sell the photos of the pillows as prints. Like, you know how I get, um, tape postcards would always be kind of a piece of art or a sculpture on a postcard. That would be, like, a print you could buy from it. So the pillows themselves would be unique, but then the prints would be something I could sell as a marketing tool. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of slogans to put on my pillow. I think I do want to do my feminist one, being like, if you're not a feminist, educate yourself. But I think my plan would be I'd want to create four pillows to originally sell as my first like bundle. Um, and I think it'd be really interesting to have them on different issues. So one kind of feminism, maybe one racism, one like homophobia, um, and maybe one for like trans. So it's kind of four different categories. But then I don't know if I kind of want to do more feminist ones as well because that's kind of the whole sole purpose of my practice. So then we'll do five, maybe we'll do two feminist ones, and one racist, homophobic, and against trans people. 
um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of trying to sort out today is what text do I want and what colours. So I'm going to do first some work on one pillow. I need to do a post actually on Facebook as well. Being like, if everyone has materials, feel free to drop them off here at my address. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's plan of action today. I'll keep you dated on how it goes. Let's begin. Feminism, racism, homophobia and transphobic. And I'm going to kind of write down quotes, or well not quotes, but like, Sassy, sassy statements according to each genre and kind of go from there and pick which ones I think are effective and would work. So I have kind of a list of ins like campaign inspo quotes, um, which I think is fun to work off and go from there really. So if I'm doing some readings, I've kind of written out key, how do I call them, quotes, campaigns, slogans, which I think would be really quite effective on pillows. Um, kind of vary, they kind of vary from powerful quotes and statements, but also some are very much more pillow related, like sit down and stuff. Um, and I kind of wrote out my favourite ones so far. So we've got consent is mandatory, did you ask to sit here? You don't have, like, fun fact, you don't have to be gay to support LGBT. Uh, repeat after me, trans individuals are not confused. Denial of racism is racism. Educate yourself. Recognise your white privilege and shut up. Then these are kind of ones I like that maybe for, like, future projects. So kind of more generalised. Um, don't attack what you don't understand. Educate yourself. How dare you presume I'm heterosexual. And don't be a bystander. So now what I need to decide is... What colour I want my text to do? I think I'll probably do a, my feminist one first. Um, decide what colour fabric I want for that, what I have, what text, what thread I want for it. Um, I think I'm, I made my Facebook post about people dropping off materials first, so then I have more of a selection. Um, but again, like, I'm really not patient with deciding. I'm kind of like, once I've got an idea, I want to do it, but we'll see. So I'm trying to decide what colour text I want for my pillow and uh, I think I want orange you know because orange will stand out because it's such dark colours but there's hints of orange in like the floral flat patterns but I don't know whether I should do like white text and orange outline or as in like orange fab as in <laughs> words as in white fabric for the text and orange outline with a thread or orange fabric for the text and a different colour outline um but I think I probably because I'm like would there be too much white but there's not really too much white like it will stand out and I have to kind of decide which way round I actually want the pillow to go as well but I think orange would look the part and stand out I think I have still have quite a bit of orange and I know I can get it quick from Hobby Craft if I need more orange thread. So there's a white sheet so I could do for the text. Maybe I'll do that. 